генеров. I can't hear it over the rain. What was it? The goat. He was like trying to crawl out. Half his body was out. Oh my god. Back half his He's like, Ree! <laughs> so have you done anything with her? No. We haven't. Well then, I'll let you do some introductions of stuff. So she has to learn all the yields so we can have a language. So those are like the, the ABCs or the initial words. So we have to get her to where she can understand what we're telling her to do or you can't accomplish anything. Hi. She's very communicating with her ears. She, uh... She's not rude by any means, but she says, I kind of like you, but I don't think I like that. I kind of like you, but I don't think I like that. So her ears kind of flick back, but they're not mean. They just kind of go from, I think I like you, and then, and then she goes, they would go back. Okay? So there's certain things, like I start to like just watch everything the horse does so I can kind of get an idea what their personality is and what their... Um, Willingness is, because sometimes if they're not willing, then it's your beat like rain. You're beating your head a little bit. Uh, she's bright. She's alert. She seems like a horse that if you start doing stuff with her, she's going to be like, oh, cool. Um, okay, so let's ask her. Well, and if we can breeze through it, great. You know, we'll just have to kind of get her to understand. You can't do anything until you have the, the basic language. You know, once you have the basic language, you can do anything. Like I taught... Bell all the basics last time I was here so then I was able to turn it into a few sentences and then we were able to do really kind of fun stuff but until you have that you can't do anything this look that she's giving right now what does she say that she's, she's paying saying. attention to the rain um, just kind of trying to process what it is she's not really she's almost doing like a bird thing you know when birds listen intently did you see how her cheek kind of came towards you, but her head stayed straight? Like, she, she went like that? That was like, that's a listening thing. So when I first teach her her back, am I going to reward her for every step that she takes? Depending on how well she takes it. Okay, so first we're going to do everything, because you want her to be, you, you want all these horses to eventually be where at liberty you can go like this and they go, right? So you want to make sure that every time you teach it, you go through every single step of please back up with your finger. You know, you have the popper in your hand. Please back up. No, all right. Please back up rolling on the ground, rolling in front of her, then rolling on the snap, and then loud. Um, if she does it where maybe you, you have to get to where it's rolling in front of her, but you don't still have to make the snap move, then I would pause should be enough to say that's the right answer where you don't have to go up and just love all over her. Um, maybe the first couple of times. Confidence in her desire. When they make that connection that you're talking to me, then they start going, what do you have to say? But when they don't ever make that connection that you're talking to them, they're like, man, why are you so rude? You know, then they start getting just offended. I like when, like Belle, she connects that there's a language. Okay. So first it's the finger, no, no wiggle at all. Yep. Now wiggle on the ground in front of you. Wiggle on the ground in front of her. Make the snap move. Now get a little louder. 
and stop. Oh, man, bunch of tail swishers in this world. <laughs> so that was big. She actually, we may find that she sucks her own tongue. Okay, because she just kind of like totally showed one of her cards. <clears throat> that might be something you're going to find that she does. Okay, yep. Good. So the only thing I'm going to change about you is she's almost apologizing to you. Okay. So what's kind of is, is she doesn't, she wants to be good, which is nice. But what I need to change about you is that you're a little bit off to the side of her. So she's starting to think she's supposed to go this way. Um, and I want you to be a little bit further away so you can give her more warning. So you can say, uh, I'm coming at you as opposed to I'm already at you and now I'm just going to try to get bigger. Instead of fluffing your feathers, be bigger from the, the approach. So, yep, step back. Good. There. Yep. Now she's already thinking about it. She's already telling you about it, too. Good. Good. So this time, go ahead and give her a little... Anyway. That'll help build your relationship. So... She's going to give you, based on what she's showing me now, if she's going to be the horse, it's going to give you as little effort as she actually has to. But she's not going to do it with an attitude. Well, although she did already talk to us. Okay. Um, so it's possible that you could tell. But so far, I think if you just kind of stay on the edge of that, we can kind of minimize how much of that she gives us. When she tucks her nose down, you'll know she's thought about it. She's starting to think about it. Okay, so pretend like you're her and I'm going to show you what it should look like and how you should feel. So it's back, 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 okay? So that's what you want to do. You want to be like, I gave you a chance, I gave you a chance, and, I, and your look should be enough to make her go, whoa, right? So that should already start to freeze her up and bring her lighter in the front. And then that last step at her, she should be like, oh, okay? You want the last step to almost startle her. So go ahead and try that. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to avoid us getting her too dull. So I want you to try that again. And then I'm just going to help her real quick. And then it, it should be easier for her. Good. So let me just do one thing so she can kind of recognize that we're talking to her. Because she's kind of like, you quit getting in my space. So see, she's not understanding it's a language. She's just thinking you're getting in her space. And she's like... God, would you quit getting so close to me, right? So we want her to understand that we're talking to her. Back. 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 Now quick lick and chew, right? So now watch. Back. <laughs> now she gets it. <laughs> good girl. Now, now, now I need to come and tell her she's a good girl because that was loud.
And she didn't like me coming to her. You see, she also was saying, I don't really think you're a very nice person. <laughs> Good, she already thought. See how she tucks her chin? So she's already told you, when I connect to something you're saying, I'll tuck my chin. So that's good, that's a tell, okay? So you wanna always learn that about every horse you work with, what's their tells? Um, off the top of my head, I don't remember what Belle's is, but hers is very obvious. Belle, Belle gets like bigger in the shoulder. All of a sudden she's like, oh, cause remember I said, she told me she knows it now? That was what she did. She got bigger in the shoulder and I'm like, oh, she's got it. Um, as soon as you tell her what to do, she's like, uh, uh, oh, yep, yep, I know you're saying something. So that's probably going to be your tell for a lot of different things. As you start to, like when you maybe ask her to do sideways, she might go, oh, okay. You know, so that might be how she connects herself to her feet. Just stuff like that you like make little notes of. Here it comes, yep. Good, good. Now you can pause for a second and then go up and scratch her. Because you want to stay friends. You have to, you know, it's language and leadership, but it's got to be balanced, you know. Good. So this time, I'm going to ask you to step almost to the end of the line, like bring it a little more taut. A little more taut. Now invite her to you. Now stand up. Good. Now ask her to take those two steps back. See, she told you. Now go for both steps. Go for both steps. Good. Good. Very nice. Now give her a second. Invite her to you, bring her halfway the distance, and then you go up and pet her. She's just suspicious. That's okay. That's why I want you to go pet her. Now you can go pet her. See, she's got already an opinion that work is not fun. Okay, so she's, that's why she's getting kind of like, she's keeping it in. She's not as, as boisterous as Rain is, but she's, she is just as pissed um, or unhappy. Not interested and then, and then mad that you might come actually do something. And even though she's not recognizing that it's going to just be a pet, she's, she's like, oh, what are you going to do to me? But we'll change that. She's. She's more um, receptive to being like, oh, that's it. You know, we only got a couple tail swishes where Rain would have swished her tail a thousand times already. She's known. Huh? She's younger than Rain. I like that. Oh, good girl. Yeah, she's, um, I call that like wearing blinders. She's actually, she was engaging at first. Now she's gone vacant. You notice how she's kind of not here. Um, I love bringing those horses out of those vacant places, but she's, she's not vacant so much because she's mad. She's vacant because that was how she killed it. You know what I'm saying? Like school horses tend to get vacant. So we're, we're going to, you know, we're going to be interesting for her. So we'll get, get a couple of these things done and then we'll see what we can use to help her understand there's more to it than this. So we'll do one more good, go for two front feet backwards. That's okay, yep, don't get too mad at her because she doesn't understand it yet. Good, good. And now ask for two steps backwards. Both front feet move back once, good. And, because we want her to understand that just because, good. And the reason I took it into two steps, and we're gonna leave her there to just figure it out. Now she's asking a question, that's good, because now she's engaged. She wasn't asking you questions before. In fact, she was kind of trying to give you the impression that she doesn't want you to come near her. That's a mosquito issue. I was, that would be where I would go, oh my God, she's going catatonic, but that's about mosquitoes. Okay. Um, yeah, those mosquitoes are nasty blowing around your eyeballs, huh? Okay, so let's do some close contact stuff and we're gonna do a little rubbing in the middle of that. We're gonna make friends. 
okay? Um, so we're gonna ask for the front yields and then really make sure she understands that that's it, that's it. Because also by rubbing her, you'll rub her to a stop because she may go, oh yeah, I get, I get the idea of following, um, moving away from pressure, but she may take it with more um, overachieving kind of thing. She may keep going. So we'll rub her to a stop. See if you can't ask her to do crossovers with her front. You can invite her to you, or you can see if you can approach her. But either way, invite her to you could be those mosquitoes. You might, maybe she'll leave the mosquitoes behind if you ask her to come to you. I doubt it, they'll probably come with her, but. Good. Good. And there's a question. Much better than before. Before you approached her and her ears went back. So she kept one up on you. She put them both back for a second and then one came up by you. I watch all of that, because all of that talks to you. And now she's, that's neutral where her ears are right now. They're, they're willing to be mad, but that's neutral where they are right now. Okay, ask her to cross over her front feet. She's going to have to take a straddle step because of the way her feet are positioned right now. So you're going to have to kind of get... So we'll do close contact, so we'll do actual touching. Mm -hmm. She'll probably understand that faster. Yep. And quit. Good, rub. I like that she, you notice how she's got a lot of lean away and that leg stayed though? So I like that. It's like, I, it's like when I like a horse that cross keeps their legs crossed, like they understood to stop doing it and they stayed in that position. So it's a big effort when they stay like that. Go ahead and, and ask her to even just straighten up if you want. So you can do the same thing, but either ask her to straighten up or cross over again. Good, good. Good, and it's funny, she wants to be mad. The tail came off, she didn't do anything else with it. Good. Now you're gonna start watching a change in her ears. They're gonna start to become more pleasant because she's starting to get, like this isn't really so bad. She's going to stop kind of being quick to be judgmental about it. There, she's got nicer ears already. Okay, we'll do the other side because she's, she's understanding yielding from pressure. But I knew she'd understand that faster than she's going to understand the rhythmic stuff. Yep. Good. Good, good. And what I liked, what do you think I liked the most about that? Her head came way over in advance and all you had to do was say, yep, but don't come back. Yep. Now that's gonna tell us that she's gonna do rhythmic pretty easy because she's already got the idea. So now that she sees this coming, she's probably gonna bend her head. Um, we do wanna be able to touch her because it is a physical pressure thing. So we don't want her to make any assumptions on a physical pressure. But I do like that she offered you the understanding. She kind of said, oh, I know this, which is nice. So if you just want to give them credit for where they deserve it, and she deserved credit for that. Okay, go ahead and uh, ask her to cross her front feet again. Good, good. So we're not going to, she's got it, right? We're not going to dwell on it. So now we'll go ahead and do it, and I'm sure if she's got any background with being used with legs, she's going to understand the high heels pretty easy too. So we'll go ahead and see if by physical pressure we can get the yields in the hind, and then we're going to do the rhythmic pressure, which may be a little bit harder because she may not understand that. So we're not going to reward that only because you pulled her around. She has to do it because you asked her. Good. You know what I'm saying? Like she can't see you coming, that's rhythmic. You know what I mean? That we want her to respond to when you tell her that way, but we want to be able to also touch her and make it happen. So if she starts to leave, we're just gonna rub her. If she leaves before you touch her, you're gonna rub her till she stops and then tell her. So rub her until she stops, like just kind of rub her like, like a dog wagging its tail and knocking everything off your coffee table. You're just going to rub her until she stops moving. And then once she stops moving, you're going to say, now I'd like you to move, right? So it's got to be on your terms. Like she's already got her tongue, her chin was already tucked. So she already knew what you were going to do. 
So rub her until she doesn't, and then... Good. Good. Now she's overachieving. That's okay. So we'll do the other side. Again, if she moves, rub her till she stops moving, and then don't take your hand off of her. Just rub her and then go, now I'd like you to do it. You know, so then, then turn it into the, now listen to me. Good. A little communication there. So she, well, I'll ask you when you're done what that might mean. Good. And it's going to make sense why it means it. Do it again. And then we're going to pause communication. So, what do you think that means? Mm -hmm. In this particular case. Is I asking you what? It's nothing to do with you. Well, not really. She has an opinion about that side of her body. Okay, the tail came off on this side of the body. The tail said something on that side of the body, which is, and why it's not uncommon is because generally speaking, a horse that's been ridden for a while, whatever, everything's done from that side of their body. So if they're forming an opinion about the work that they have to do, it's gonna be because you're on that side of their body. Okay, so she's gonna tell us that she's gonna have a harder time or an opinion on that side of her body more than she's gonna have an opinion on this side of her body. Like a horse that's really, really damaged, I do everything from their offside because it's newer. You know what I mean? Okay, so I went through that. She had an attitude. She's not going to, it might get worse. So we're going to not let her take it up a notch for us. Because um, you got two full swishes that time. Okay. You can do it from this side and then we'll go on to her easier side or her nicer side. Go ahead and do her front yields with rhythmic this time. So do the yoga ball movements. She's not going to understand it. She tucked her chin like she wants to understand something. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, she's not. It's okay, it's okay. Yep, don't stop until she goes and stop. Now rubber, because it was big. I'd love to that was big. There we go. So now you're going to make sure that you give her a lot of warnings so that she has time to process it as you're coming. You can say, I'm coming. I'm coming. So this way she has a lot of time to, to, to change gear into that. Yep. 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 Good. Good, good, good. Now she throws, okay? So she kind of like, I don't know what you want. So we wanted to definitely make sure you pet her at that time. Because you see how she throws with her head up like. Okay, so go ahead and ask her for one more. Yep, yep, keep going. Yep, yep. Good, and quit. Nice. I like, she got a little communication with you, but I like how she stayed like this. Good. So let her free up. You can move her around just so her legs don't have to stay like that. Good. Man, it's pouring. You don't have to have an ugly face. You make an ugly face there. That was an ugly face. Okay, so we'll do that one more time. Try to make it to where it's a little more balanced. Right now you're doing a lot of focus on changing her head around. And this is really kind of out here, not affecting her shoulder at all. Try to make it to where it's kind of affecting her shoulder and her nose um, or her cheek. And see if you can't, where if you have to tap, you're probably gonna tap with the shoulder hand first anyway. Because it's really, we're guiding her shoulder around more than we're guiding her nose around, but her nose has to go first. Yep. Yep. Aim to her cheek. Just careful of her eye. Good, good. And scratch. Yep. 
Yep. Just watch her eyes. So kind of focus on that knot on her nose band. Yep, yep. And wiggle forward. Wiggle so she doesn't go forward, I mean. Good. There you go. Good. And it was light. You didn't have to be real loud about it. You just had to say, oh, but don't. Because you always want to be able to go, but, but, as opposed to stop going for, you know, you want to make sure that you can be as quiet as you possibly can. Okay, so we'll do the other side. This side, you should get less communication and it might be harder for her, but you might get a lot less. She's keeping an eye ear on you, that's nice. Excellent, scratcher. Because that was a huge effort and it was very precise. So you want to make sure she feels like a hero for that. And she's going to, yep, she sucks her tongue. You got to be real careful when you stress a horse like that out, though. Because if they're going over a jump and they were stressed out from something else, and they come down and they bite their own tongue. So she's probably a horse that somebody wanted to tie her mouth shut so she couldn't do that. Yep. Yep, nice. Wiggle, wiggle. Good, good. And I like how light it had to be. So that's nice. She understands. It's great because a lot of times they don't get that. She's still frozen, but that's okay. She actually came back to you. When you stepped back, did you see how her head came, kind of came back towards you? So that was like her way of saying, oh, but what else? So that's nice. That's your feedback. It's minimal, but it's your feedback. She's like, oh, what else are you going to do? So. Yep. Yep. Good. Good. Okay, so we'll do hind yields. So now it's very important because it's new to her that you do all the actual cues. When she's on a circle and you want to implement that now, that's your first cue. You know, you're going to be like this with her in your hand, tilt your head, say, oh, you don't understand that, here's my support. Oh, you don't understand that, here's my support. And then if she still doesn't understand that, you're going to let that rope just get longer. If you have to, you'll tap her. First the tilt, then the support, then the support, then the help. First it was, you put your hand out, and then you start moving it. So step, step one is tip, step two is just out, step three is now you're moving it, step four is Excellent. Yeah. Yep. Let the rope get longer if you have to. Yep. And... Good. So you're a little late with the wiggle which made it where she kind of got offended by it. And that was only, that was more your fault than it was hers. Okay. So I always remember, but don't go forward. Yep, wiggle, wiggle. There, good. One more without any forward. Be ready to wiggle, good. Be ready to wiggle. Uh, you got a little forward going on there. So, because you're going to make it a little gray for her if we don't keep that understood to her. It's not, nothing to do with your front feet, baby. Yep. Good. I would reward it only because it was, it was she was going to finish it, actually, if you had kept the pressure on. But I wanted to keep her believing it only had to do with her back feet. So that's why I wanted to kind of eliminate her front feet getting involved because the one front foot will have to rebalance her and then she's not going to understand it because now the front foot is going to have to rebalance her. Go ahead and ask her to do it again. This front foot closest to me is going to come towards you only to rebalance her. So don't do too much with that. 
but be prepared to wiggle. Good. Good. So we're letting her get away with kind of like the baby steps for a second just because she got a lot of forward and we don't want to have to fix that too bad. So now go ahead and ask her again. And this time we're going to be a little more particular and we're going to be ahead of that forward. So we want the real step this time. Real step this time. Go for the real step. She's kind of figured out that we're not asking for too much. Good. Keep going. Keep going. And there. Good. Good. Perfect. So it was nice is because we got her believing it was only about her back feet, but we didn't tell her how much of it needed to be. And then when we did kind of put the pressure on, the front feet came back involved, but you were ready for it, right? So by breaking it back down to just get it, the message to your back feet, get the message to your back feet, and then now I'm going to ask you for it a little bit different. But I'm, you know what I mean? Because when that, then she added it and you could stop her and say, no, 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 that's not part of it. But before it was all part of it and she, ha she was too confused. So that's how you would do that. Like you would really make it to where it's like minimal only back feet and no front feet could have even thought to be involved. And then you can kind of bring it up again. Okay. So we did all our yields. Can you do a backup from the chest? Just physical pressure. Yep. Just, just stand and, and like stand next to her. Yep. And then see if you can't just ask her to back off, off your pressure. Okay, so there's no reason to go crazy with that either. Okay, um, I want you to, you're going to stand in front of her and you're going to ask for the same front crossovers um, to a direction without, without a go. So you're basically just going to ask her to, front, while you're standing in front of her, you're going to ask her to cross her front feet over and pretend to go this way, but without a go cue means you don't have to leave. Stand at first, she may automatically think, oh, I'm supposed to go lunge around. We're going to just say, but don't go forward. Okay. And we're going to try to say that as nice. And she's pretty receptive to that. So we're not going to have to real loud. Then we can either reposition ourselves and get in front of her and then do it again. Um, or we can do it this way and then this way and just keep. She understands. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change it up and do something else, whether we just go for a little walk or whatever, because we tell her to change, you know, to go in a direction. Go. First, we talk to you about your direction. Then we tell you how fast we want you to do it. Okay? So, okay. You can. Yeah, I. To back up. So that's good. So now this is friendly, but this is this is like your uh, airplane stewardess, and you're telling somebody about where their seat is. Okay. So you want to make sure that you you know you're you know what you're talking about. It's down there, but you're also not telling her to go over yet. You're just going to point and support. You're not going to do any energy because we're not asking her to really move her feet more than just a sense of direction. And set her up for success. And success, which foot, which which direction you think would make her more successful? Because she's going to do a straddle step. But it's going to be a go forward. You're going to have to worry about the go forward. So just be careful with that. So do yourself a favor and take that, take that extra piece of line. Yep. And you're going to use it as support, but you're not going to. Yep, yep, yep. And leave her alone. Good, good, good. Now I like that. OK. Um, which is nice, because it's nice to get to kind of, this is all a feel out for you. Even though we're teaching her stuff, you're learning her. Um, so the fact that she wanted to know, oh, that's it. So now kind of get more in front of her again and now ask her to come my way again. So she's tucking her chin it means something. So you want to give, make sure you're pointing so she gets it. It's okay. She's just, she's trying to do something. She just learned doing it and leave her alone. Good. So see, and she's asking you a lot of questions. You know, she was, her feet got involved. She knew something to do with her feet. So that's really, and she hasn't stopped asking you. Okay. So point, point at me. 
okay? Because it's not really like, I want you to go that way. So point at me so she understands that you're telling her nose to go this way. And then support first with just out, and then bring some energy to it. But don't bring any energy to it if you don't need it. Yep. Allow her to do it. So just going to, yep, let her, because she's sorting it out. See how much she, movement she put in her body? Her body moved. So now go ahead and put a little energy there because her body moved, but she didn't feel like you were telling it. Now leave her alone for a second. Good, good, good. I'm going to leave her for that. Okay. The message got to the feet and the message got to the direction. Okay. And we didn't want her to leave, so we didn't want to turn it up too much. She didn't do what we wanted yet, but we need to get the message there. Okay. So point at me that's going to tell her to put her nose towards me. Yep. Yep, support, which means, yes, you got the right idea, but we do need a little something else to happen. Don't take the energy up too high because she is going to do it now. Yep, keep going. Keep going. She, she knows to do something with her feet. She just hasn't figured out that it means to pivot. So give a little feel. If you can get a little feel on her nose. Wiggle, yep, 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 yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Now support, support, because she's got it. Support, support, support. Yep, yep, yep. Step, kind of step in there. Yep. She got it, she got it. Oh, she's so close. She questions herself so much. You got it, sweetie. Yep. So she doesn't, she's, you're going to have to keep coming this, come, coming, come at her a little bit. Yep, 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 yep. Keep supporting, keep supporting. She's trying really hard. There we go. Good. There, and now she's like, ah, is that what you wanted? And she's not sure she's ready for you to come pet her, but she, there she goes. That was hard for her, but she tried her little heart out. Okay, I know it, it seems like she didn't do jack diddly, but she actually was trying her little heart out. Okay, so this time should be a little bit easier because you explained it to her. So now see if she can do it a little easier. So you can point at me again. Yep. It's okay. She got, maybe your energy was a little high because you needed it to be that high to explain it to her. Now she's misinterpreting the energy. So go ahead and stand back in front of her. Again, point to me. Wiggle if she's going to go forward because she's going to go forward. Yep. Yep. Good. Good. Yep. She's got it. It's okay. Yep. Yep. Wiggle a little tiny. There you go. Oh. Ooh, she's got it. Good girl. I got a pet her for that. Good girl. That was good. You'd be surprised how hot she is right now. Yeah. When they have to think, they start sweating. She's sweating behind her ears. They start sweating in the weirdest places. She's like, she's warm to the touch. Good girl. That's a smart girl. Yeah. See, this isn't so bad. You started off thinking it was going to be terrible. That's your hair. Okay, go ahead and. and I'm not done. Good. Again, tell her one more to come towards me. Yep. So you're a little too far off to the other side of her. There you go. So we want to make sure we can set her up to succeed. Yep, there she has got it. And good girl. She stepped on her own foot. That's pretty cool. Good. Okay. So we're going to leave her alone for that. Okay, so let's get her a little bit more that way again. And then we'll do the other way. I think the video camera points to this general area. <laughs> I can't wait to go outside if we're going to be able to use outside. And this way my little camera can just follow you around. Or we could attach it to the horse, whichever. OK, so now we're going to have her go the other direction. And she's already told us that she has an itch on this side. So we'll get that next time when she does good. Just at like the point of the shoulder, she's got an itch. Gotta get a little further away from her even. Yep. So she, she knows something. Good. Yep. 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 And excellent. Good girl. Good girl. And your pause is actually enough. Okay. So she's not the horse that absolutely dies for, you know, going and telling her, oh, you did so good. She, I'm not saying she doesn't, wouldn't enjoy it, but she's actually kind of saying she doesn't really like that close talker stuff yet. I don't think she's going to 
refuse it later. But I think today she's kind of like, you know, just tell me I did good and I'm okay with that. Okay, so go ahead and tell her to take another step that way. She's going to go forward. Yep, yep. Tell her to back up because that, that's wrong. Uncomfortable should be, yep. Tell her to go back one more. Good. Now tell her to go the way she heard something, the goats or something. That's okay. She should stay focused on you. Yep. Yep. So now you're going to support. So kind of now you're going to take a step towards her shoulder, this shoulder. Yep. Yep. She's got the wrong message, but there she wait. She's starting to. Th she got back up on the hip mind. And that's okay. Yep. Yep. We didn't want to make her too wrong for going because you had to turn the energy way up. And then when it finally clicked, she started, she thought she had to go. Okay. We're going to go ahead and tell her to do one more. Yep. Wrong answers. It makes it a little up, 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 up. Now she's like, ah, oh, hold me. Ah, yep. Stop her, stop her. So you want to read that. So this way you could have kept her from making a mistake. Okay, she finally changed gears. She was on a whole different page for a second there. So tell her before she tells you, because she's already telling you the wrong thing. Good. Now, there she so when she started telling you the wrong answer, you, you want to make sure you kind of get in there and say, no, 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 don't, don't assume. Now she's got it. Yep, you're right, baby. Keep going. Yep. Yep, now take down the energy a little bit because she's got it and she's going to go. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. So just give her a little reassurance for that just because she, she is getting a little that up her feet based on what we've been doing. But and that's just worry. She's getting worry in her feet a little bit. Okay. So try to ask her for, again. Now, try to balance how much energy you tell her because with the energy, you have to get it kind of where you're, you're like, hello, do you hear me? And then as soon as she goes, yeah, what did you say? And then you go, please go that way. You know, because once, if you stay like, hello, 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 she's going to panic and go to walk off. So you got to. Okay. So I'll try, I'll try to point out when she says what. So go ahead and put your energy up. Okay, she said what? Yep, yep, there, leave her alone. And good, good, good. Uh, uh, uh. It's okay. So instead of jumping out in front of her, because you know how you kind of felt tempted to jump out in front of her to say, but don't go forward. You just want to, you wanted to do it maybe a couple seconds sooner and you didn't have to move. You could have just said, hey, hey, that's enough. So you want to just kind of like almost whisper it at her, but make sure that she hears, like, does it make sense? Make sure she hears it. Make sure she feels it. Like now, there, okay? And see, you still were tempted to jump in front of her. So you don't have to. She'll, she'll recognize what the snap thing moves. Okay, um, so now, now get back in front of her and ask her for one more. Stop her. Good. Now you're pointing off to your side instead of... Good, excellent. Stop her, stop her, stop her. Good. Oh. You, you didn't believe she was really still going to go. So if you had just kind of kept telling her gently, don't move that other foot. There. So that was just, a, it was a misread on your part. Like, because she, she still had that I have to finish this, but you thought she didn't, she wasn't going to commit to it. And she still had that lean. So now you can tell her she, she did good. Like, we'll go pet her and tell her she did good. You can like, I don't know, just work on mirroring her with you or something for a second. Because we're going to now, we're going to add a go cue to it. But I don't want to add a go cue to it when we've been telling her don't move. So ask her to catch up. We'll start making this a particular game. Good. If she disappears out of your peripheral vision, she's too far back. Good. There you go. That's nice. Oh, she's looky loo. She's a little worried about that door. So give her something to do. Take her over to this door and just let her.
this because she she had that um, I'm not sure oh it's the fencing just leave her alone while, while they do the bird or while they paw I leave them alone because they're trying in their own head I call that the bird when they go like this Now just gently ask her to take a step forward. Give her a little support at her shoulder. Good, now leave her alone. Gently ask her to take a step forward. Yep, leave her alone. She's allowed to back up, she's allowed to back up. She needs to believe she can leave. 